All right, there we go. Put my flash on. Uh, it'll drain down my battery, but you know, got a shitty phone anyway. We'll see if even the quality comes out good. So you can see it's kind of orange. Here we go and uh, grab my little tool kit here. Got tons of mail and shit. So, what I'm going to use for this is not the ceramic tweezers, but the needle nose tweezers. I'm going to use those, a pair of scissors. Now this is going to come in the Rotofo profile box. I keep mine underneath my scissors along with the little Allen key tool just for quick and easy access. They all seem to be about the same Allen key, but I keep that there. For the purpose of this video, I am not going to use the Rotofo cotton. <laughs> But I will use that on my Unity. So for the purpose of this video, what I am going to use is all my water bottles everywhere. Diabetic and I get hydrated like a mofo. Got some firebolt cotton there. I ran out of the, the laces, so I just got the, the cotton in the bag. And I got some cotton bacon. And back there behind all these bottles of juice, I have what's called native wicks. These I think are, are pretty cool. Um, comes in like a little circle just it's just wrapped in there and you just kind of pull out the length that you need but it's cool because these are pretty thick yeah they're pretty thick but that's more like condensed cotton this is, is pretty fluffy and I'll show you that in a minute but it's about the right width Maybe about a finger and a half width. I'm sorry for the shitty video quality and camera all over the place. But it's just enough for this profile here. So I'm going to keep that out. I'm going to flip this down. I'm going to take our needle nose tweezers. Get this other cotton out of the way. I'm not using that. And unpluck it. I'm just going to lift it up on each side. Try and get that more centered. Focused on that. So once I have it plucked up, I'm just going to pull it through. Put that in the garbage cup. Now. I've already set this at 14 watts. I'm just gonna pulse it a little bit just to burn off the excess vape juice that's on there. You see that's glowing from the middle, and you see it's sizzling like a steak. Sometimes, if you do it too long, you'll melt the metal and it'll just pop. But, you know, they give you two in the package, and that's okay. So I got the little sizzle going on up there. You can see it on the bottom now. It's going to blow on it.
Now, if you're really worried about it, <clears throat> I don't even know what juice I have in here, to be honest with you. So that's going to be a surprise for both of us, but if you're really worried about it, you can see like there's some juice down the bottom there. You can take the mesh out, soak, soak the RDA in some water, plain water. Just let it soak for like two, three minutes. Switch it around. Get that out. Uh, let it dry in a towel for like a minute. So you're good. But you can see it's glowing. Let's see. Let's focus this again. It's glowing pretty evenly. No hot spots. It's uh pretty round. Uh, so. I guess I can show you, I'm not going to use it right now because I already have the Wotofo mesh in here. Just run my finger across, you know, you can see the, uh, not sure if you can see the particles or not, but it's oxidizing from that heat in the air. Just give a little finger rub, get all that stuff off. It's not going to affect it too much, but you know, before you put some cotton in there all that you want to have that off uh, let's see let me turn my TV down a little bit so I will show you how to use the Watofo tool uh, just so you can see that if you're having any doubts about bending it anything like that I got what, two four six strips left in here of this next mesh I've been using the profile unity RTA and it, you know it's it's pretty cool uh, I like it so normally do it somewhere up right by the name but basically just put the, the strip somewhere Hold it, make sure, oh, dropped it. You want to hold the bottom part, you know, keep it pretty parallel on there. Let's see. I got the grid on my phone, so right about there. I'm going to put my finger down and just bend it over. You don't want to bend it sideways or anything, just bend it straight. And I give the tool one turn. So mesh is pretty straight now comes out looking like that looks like uh let's see a c so you know you can make it boom a d or you know close parentheses open parentheses fucking dropped it again so that's it for that i'm gonna put that back in the case for later use if you pre-bend these, you know, it's not to worry about, it's just wire, you know. It's not like, you know, when you make a certain face, your face is going to get stuck that way. So, take a drink of some water here. Now these, the meshes, aren't too bad. If they get black, one of my many water bottles, I'll take the cap off of here. You know, it's a, it's a good size. And I just put a little bit of water in there just to fill it up to the rim. And, uh, you can fire it so it's glowing hot, just like that, and then dip it in there. Just, you know, the tip, you know, using the short bottle caps, it's pretty cool. Because you can put it down, and it just kind of clears all the gunk off of there, and then you'll see all the black material just kind of float to the bottom of the cap and that's how you know that you're getting some of the dirt off and stuff some of the the caramelization from the mesh off but you know without doing that this one looks pretty clean the difference between the Wotofo mesh and the next mesh is the Wotofo mesh as you saw see right here it's got holes in it they're fairly large holes but there are less holes than in the next mesh, the next mesh, let's see, 
I can get right next to it. You see, there's tons of fucking holes. So, you know, it's got more surface area touching the cotton. And less cotton, you know, little particles getting through these holes. So, you know, my experience with it has been okay. Um, personally, on this Unity that I have, this specific one, I've had some issues... Um, where it's just like I don't I don't know what, but it caramelizes a little bit more. So there's there's that. But you know that's that. So for this, on the top side the profile's pretty well straight. It's a little crooked as you can see. I got the, the mod straight. And then the, the RDA just is all the way there. Yeah. So. But that's okay. Because that gives us room on the side. For when we're wicking it. So for this particular one. I'm going to use this native wicks. Like you see in there. It just comes out like a, like a spiral. See. It's like one big ball. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to take it and maybe like half, this is my middle finger right here, maybe to the halfway point of my middle finger. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. Let's move this box over. Halfway on my middle finger there. Pinch and just make about the same size over here. Maybe a little bit more, you know. You can't put more cotton on there. And then have that. It's always better to have more. And then need less. But not to have less. And then need more. So. It's gonna. Need to sharpen these scissors up some. But. It'll be okay for this video. Probably not gonna use it. Uh, the profile, but uh, nice guy on Reddit wanted me to make the video, so I'm making the video. If anyone else watches it, that's cool. Now, there's crap in the way. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I got the cotton, and it's, you know, again, middle finger, index finger. Maybe like a finger and a half width. Maybe a finger and a quarter. Probably a finger and a half. You know, it's pretty fluffy. So, there's that. I'm just going to take one side. And if you, you know, have ever smoked any illicit materials. It's just like winding the end of one of those illicit materials. I'm just going to make one side. You know, I roll my the side of my thumb on there. Just like that. So now what does that look like? Some Watofo cotton, right? Without the little cap. Boom. Boom, boom. I'm going to grab that. See, let's focus again. Boom. Now you can equally take these tweezers, press the center, spring down the squonk, put it in there. I don't have any issues, so I'm not going to. I just kind of take it, put it at an angle at the bottom. Don't press it up against the mesh, but right before the mesh. And boom, get it in there. Twist it some, push it through, grab the end, cool. Now we have the, the head's crowning, it's crowning, oh my god, it's crowning. Now what I'm going to do, because the end out here is fluffier, and it gets kind of thick in the middle, especially after this roll right here, it gets more dense. I'm going to pinch this, and right now, I'm just pinching, right, I'm going to pull. Right almost behind the, the, 
other side here. I'm going to pull and press down on the top. That helps me get it through without bending the mesh. And I got my back fingers on this top side. And I'm just pulling on both sides. Kind of making a triangle with my fingers here. To let the cotton go through but to stay in this area right so it's forming to that area I'm not pinching it too hard nothing like that you see it was a little bit dirty it's got some juice on there now it's turning a little bit brown on the inside of the mesh here so I got it coming through now it's not too tight you know I can still pull with pretty ease not too loose certainly got it dirty on this side over here but that's okay it's gonna get you know juice on it anyway so pull just a little bit more boom now you want the good amount you know it's better for it to be tighter than looser because you want all this cotton here to be touching the inside of this mesh and you see I can squeeze both sides here and I can turn the mesh I can turn the uh, the cotton. My bad. So, you know, I got all the cotton in the center there touching the inside of this mesh. Let's see. You want it up against that mesh because if you don't have it up against the mesh, it's going to create some hot spots where that spot without the cotton being saturated, of course, is going to get hotter first than all the rest of the mesh once it's wet. So I've got it through pretty good, you know, that's that, and what I'm going to do, and you can do this with the Botofo cotton, once you cut the shoelace tie off, you can kind of just bounce it back and forth, but if you notice what I was doing, was I was sliding it back and forth like this, what that does is it, you see how when I'm pulling it this way? It kind of bows up over here, and then when I pull it that that way, it'll bow up over here. Watch, you see, it gets right up against that mesh, and that makes sure that you have a nice fit connect connection there with the cotton and the mesh. So what I do is once I pulled it this way, and it's kind of bowed and it's peaked over that. I'll pull it this way, it's bowed and peaked over that, and. You'll see how much you pull it in either direction. I just kind of go back and just put it in the center. So it's in the center there. That's okay. That looks good. Now with the Watofu con, what you could do is, once you cut the nipple off, you can kind of scrunch it. You know, kind of like if you're making a bow tie. I don't know if any of you wear bow ties. I used to wear the crap out of bow ties. Uh, one of my office jobs. Uh, but, you know, there's that, so now, you know, it's kind of like two, I don't eat vegetables, so, you know, I don't know what that looks like, mushrooms, cauliflower, something like that, it's nice and, and fluffy now over here in this center, it's, it's nice and bulbous, so that's what I want. So now, I'm going to give it a little pull on each side. Now I'm going to measure, right, because when you saturate it, the wick is going to weigh down more into these channels below, right? It's going to weigh down into there. So what I'm going to do is on the top side here, I am going to look where the edge of this is, the top of the top side, and I'm going to cut, a cut right along there. Now with the top side and profile combo, you don't have to be too worried about cutting it too short. You definitely don't want to cut right next to the mesh. No. You, you want some room for this to go into the little catch cup down there. The little well. Same thing with the other side. This side though, 
because it was the last part to go through, or, or the part that didn't go through the mesh, I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer. I'm going to cut it, you know, maybe right... Let's see, the scissors are touching the device, so I'm going to cut it right... Right there. Made a line on it. This is my first time doing this on camera, so bear with me. And I'm going to save these two little pieces of cotton. No, I don't just reuse cotton like that and stitch it fucking back together, so shut up. What I do with those is if I have any messes, any spills when I'm saturating the cotton, I can use this to soak it up before I chuck it. So that's through. That's looking good. You see how it's nice and fluffy there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these needle nose tweezers, I'm just going to rake it, rake it out, and you'll see it kind of fluffing out, boom, fluffing out. And some cottons you'll get these little white balls. You can see one right here. Right, you see that little ball? Those you don't have to worry about, you know. Just what happens with cotton thick, you know, fluffy. Right, so I'm basically taking it from the center there, doing the tips. Buffing it out. Fluff, 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 fluff. It's also thinning it out because it's pulling away the, the big strands in there. And that's cool on the, the, the profile with the top side. Some people like it to be dense in their cups, in their wells. I particularly don't. What I've also done, not put your nail there. Don't. It's just gonna fuck it up. I take like my knuckle right there, and I'll just scratch my knuckle. You don't have to put too much pressure on it. You just, you know, just raking it out. But what putting your knuckle there does, and be careful when you get close to your fingernail. You don't want to fuck that up, because that's going to be a bitch. It's going to be irritating, like fucking stubbing your pinky toe. The smallest fucking toe on your couch. All right, so I'm just raking it out. Thinning out the wick. And because I have this on a squonker, and not on a regular box mod, I don't have to worry about filling the well and all that for the cotton to be saturated what I do have to worry about you see that all that all that fucking cotton right looks like fucking Einstein Look. so what you're worrying about with a squonker is it's coming up from the bottom here, right? And I think, you know, one of the reviewers has a squonker style that he, he did where it squonked from the top over the coils and went down. This is coming from the bottom, right? So you got cotton pressed up against that, that fill down there, that white spring that you press down or, or push down to get that through. When you're pulling your cotton through, you're pressing down all the time as you're pulling it through to keep that thing down so your cotton isn't going to bend your mesh one way or another or, or fold it over on itself. Good to know, right? So, when you're squonking from the bottom, 
the middle of this is saturated. But when you're squonking, it gets wet right here. And because that's so tight in there, it'll drip over if you over squonk. But if you squonk just enough, what's going to happen? It's going to suck it back down and suck that cotton a little bit dry. So you want to squonk it, you know, pretty well to make it nice and saturated. So I got these ends here. And you can see the white part right here. Where it's denser before it gets, you know, a little bit more open. Right, this is the open part. And it's nice and dense right to here. Nice and dense, nice and dense, open. So I'm just going to give it a haircut right along the line of that denseness I got this little fluff ball so that's pretty well done on that side this side's a little bit longer because you want to have, you know, more than less. So, if I need to, right, cutting on that line of white density. Right, now I got the little fluff ball. And, you know, you keep that as well. Boom, roll that up. Boom, now you got some, some cotton. Clean up any spills of juice. Right, so now I'm just going to pull it just a wee, even it back out. This part's already nice and fluffy and thinned out, so that's okay there. With the profile, because it's a nice thick juice well, you can just start stuffing the cotton right there. No particular way, just start stuffing it. Brush it down. Stuff it in. Brush it down. Stuff it in. Brush it down. Stuff it in. Now you see I got a little bit that keeps poking back up. That's okay because when you saturate it, it's going to weigh itself down. Same on this side. I might have too much over here, but that's okay. That'll fit. Your spring was just to keep your cotton pressed up against the mesh. That's all the purpose was. So you're not going to worry about, oh man, I got too much cotton in there unless you just left it like a finger's length long on the side and you're trying to stuff that in there. That's not going to work, right? Not going to work at all. So it's going to, you know. Have it. What I like to do is keep a little space on these sides right here. As you can see, I got cotton almost wrapped around in there. I'm just going to take that and I'm going to push it back towards the center a little bit. I'm going to take it on this side, push it back towards the center a little bit. It gives me just a wee bit of room for juice to collect in there once it's overflowing. Right. So boom. Take that, push it back. Take that, push it back. My scissors would stop fucking opening. I need to get some actual fucking scissors. So we got that there. Press it up in there had a little you know chunk that was right in there so just kind of push that down into the cotton you don't have to push it down hard you know just push it lightly I'm just kind of brushing it so it looks nice right that looks nice got that right there boom and that's okay that's looking good right I think so you don't think so 
it's whatever it's working for me if it's not working for you and you're watching this video then I guess you shouldn't be talking shit so sometimes I do make my own juice uh, from Nicotine River All right, DIY kits and I've made some pretty good like Captain Crunch juice uh, well not exactly Captain Crunch, but like, oops, all berries, right? You ever have that? Good, good shit by Captain Crunch. And, uh, see, I got that right on the edge there, cool. So what I'm using is this Morning Juice by Slam Cake Vapes. Morning tastes like Fruity Pebbles a little bit. I mainly got this bottle, so I can keep the label, I think the label looks pretty cool. Once I'm done with it, which... I bought this like two days ago. Yeah, I'm almost done with it. <laughs> that way I can keep the bottle, it looks cool. I'll just take the, the cap off and put my own juice in there. So I give your juice a little bit of a shake. Get the juice mixing in there. And now, you're just gonna prime it. All right, so I put it on the mesh. You see how it just dripped and went right down into that hole? That's why I do that. It gives it a way to, to go instead of just catching the cotton and overflowing the RDA and messing up my, my mod. I'm just going to make a line. I'm just going to paint it. And you know what? If you get some juice on the side of your little unicorn bottle here what you could do is just wipe it across and you just clean it up like I got a big old drip right up there you see that boop it's gonna now it now it's off All right no more big drip so just gonna do that oh see it's going down in my mod a little bit I got too crazy with it. Drip that there. Just gonna pinch that and wipe. Pinch it and wipe. Pinch it and wipe. Cool. Now I got a quick cleaning solution, right? So I got one side pretty saturated. The other side over here is what we we're working on. You can lean it. Like this, right? Because all the stuff that, any juice that went in there is already saturated into the cotton. So I'm just going to boop, 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 boop. It's like little splatters. Keep it held at the side a little bit so it's not overflowing the deck. Same with that. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm pressing this bottle against the cotton. So it's nice and saturated. And I paint over the coil one more time. The mesh. The mesh coil. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever floats your boat. And I just clean up my little O-rings right there. Boom. Cool deal. Now we got it at 14 watts. Right? We're not going to vape this at 14 watts. So why are we going to fire it with saturated cotton at 14 watts? I'm not... I only vape this around 60 I'm going to put it about 54, just to see if it's vaping correctly. It is. Cool. Getting production. It's firing up pretty pretty quick. And what you're also doing, a lot of people have done this with regular coils, right? So if I build my own coil and I'm building like a, just a, a six wrap coil with Canthal. Canthal, you know, six wraps is going to be, you know, a little bit. You're saturating the coil of coils all nice and wet, and they fire it. Why do they fire it? So it soaks in through the coil down to the, the cotton. So now my cotton looks pretty, uh, pretty good. It's all saturated, nice, neat to go. Boom. Can you see that okay? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's pretty saturated, like, look, fingers dry, boop, boop, fingers wet. 
that's all that's really needed with that that is wicking the profile RDA on top of the top side squonk I put morning on here and I don't even know what juice is in that so let's see now what I did wish would happen I don't know if it's just the one that I got or what it's always a bitch to press down sometimes you gotta get it in the right spot boom there we go now it's down there I wish the airflow I don't know if it's doing on everyone's profile but I wish the airflow was on the sides of this thing and the logo is on the front I got it as tight as it can go I can unscrew it, of course. Boom. Boom. It's all wet. Right. Take some cotton. Wipe it down. Like I said, I'm diabetic, so I have alcohol wipes that I use sometimes. Boom. Alcohol wipes. But, you know, cotton works just as well. Just getting some of the tomfoolery off of this. Boom. It's looking pretty, pretty good now. And you see when you squonk it, you're going to have the juice come up. If you have your RDA off of there, and you just press your bottle, it kind of gives you an idea of how much juice is coming through there. You see, I'm just... Barely pressing it. And juice and the bubbles comes comes up. Barely pressing it. Now with this, you have the whole there, you don't have any resistance against it. Alright? But now you got the cotton in there, so you gotta have some resistance. So let's see. Take the cap off. I'm pressing the bottle. You kind of see it starting to fool. And I see I got the little piece of cotton right there overlapping that mesh. See it? All right? You see that? Boom. You're not seeing the full line of the mesh. I'm just going to take that, put my finger, and boom. Just, just tap it in. So, boom. Now I can see the line of the mesh. If I can see the line of the mesh, I'm pretty good on both sides. And if you can see it, I'm going to squeeze the bottle just a little bit. You see how it's coming up at the sides? See it forming? You see those little bubbles at the top? Let's see, let's focus on this again. You see the little bubbles at the top? And then it comes up around the sides. You're good. You can see it on the other side over here too. It's good. So again, let's put the cap back on. Boom, I'm gonna wiggle that. Put this up to 60 watts. No, let's do 64 watts. And we will have a bite. Sixty-four might be a little bit high for that. That juice. Now, just like your sub-ohm coils, right? a couple times it takes a little bit of a drag to get the, the cotton wet and then you fire it you know maybe the first 15 20 times at like 25 watts or so you could do that with this too you still get rid of that cotton taste it's just like a normal co uh, coil you want to fire it a couple times just to get rid of that cotton taste that new cotton taste
now we've got the cap on there so we can actually fully saturate this thing Oh, you see it? You see it coming up over the sides? In fact, it came up over the side and onto my hand. So I was holding it at an angle, stupidly. Put that in the trash cup. Another piece of cotton, wipe it off my hand. Get it over my fire button. Just cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it. Wiping down the screen. Cool. Wiping off the RDA. Cool. And that's it. That is wicking the profile RDA. See, it's okay if it gets on your hands, but if you're vaping like really stupid high nicotine, then you know, you might want to go wash it off a little bit. It's not just pure nicotine you got on your hands, but you know. That is what it is. Get this butt nice and dry. Cool. So, once we've put it, the cap on, Essentially, yes, you can close off the airflow. Right? And close it off all the way. See, it's, it's closed. You can't really see it, but that's closed. And you can just go ahead and squonk it. Make sure that it's getting really saturated in there. That cotton is getting super saturated. And you can open it back up. There we go, it's all the way open. And as long as you've got that super saturated, boom, you're good to go. That's it, ladies and gents. That is wicking it. Getting that awesome fucking flavor out of the profile. RDA. Babo Tofo. It's not that hard. Don't overcomplicate it. You'll be fine. It's really super easy. It's the easiest RDA to wick. Because you're not, you know, threading stupid small coils. 0.25 millimeters two or uh, two millimeters uh, 2.5 millimeters whatever whatever your fancy is on actual coils these meshes are pretty big you can get a lot of cotton in there saturate it very good and that's it um, what I normally do is if I'm out and about driving and I got this bottle full I'll just give it three love taps right that I didn't really press the bottle there I'm just hitting the bottle but what I would do is one two three one two three kind of like you're doing CPR right instead of taking your two fingers here I take my two middle fingers and one two three one two three that's it saturated Boom. 
I hope you guys could hear me talk during this whole thing. If not, it may be all in vain. I don't know. But that was that. Profile Unity, same way. Got the little channels in there. You'll see it if you're using that one. You just stuff the cotton down in there. Make sure it's not coming out of those channels. But it's down in there to the bottom. And it, it's pretty well congesting that port so no, your coil's not flooding. That's that. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.